I was asked recently if I thought that schools you know, still had a role, if they were still the answer, and I, and I do. I, I do think that schools are important. In that sense, a school as being a community of learners who come together to learn with and from each other. The thing is, we've come to associate schools with particular types of institutions which have developed over the past couple of hundred years. You know, schools as places where, you know, there are separate classes, different age groups, bells and whistles and uh, schedules and timetables and exams and tests. None of those things are necessary to the conception of a school and there are multiple examples in alternative school movements, in democratic school movements, in it, going way back before Summerhill and, and schools like that, which have shown that schools can be much more self-organized by the people in them. But the dominant, the dominant systems that have, are, for the most part, perpetuated through uh, public policies for education tend to perpetuate practices which are unhelpful for most kids in the way they want to learn, or, or certainly in, in helping them discover what their real uh, personal individual talents and abilities are.